These are the top 10 things you should not buy Black Friday 2020. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granin. I know your time is very valuable and your money should stay where it belongs and that's in your wallet and not in the hands of corporations. So here's my top 10 list of what not to buy Black Friday 2020. Quick reminder, if you guys wanna get in touch with me directly, if you've got a Black Friday question or if there's a specific deal you're looking for, you're welcome to text me. My phone number is 440-298-2181. That's 440-298-2181. Yes, that's me personally. I do not have staff and I'd be happy to assist you. First thing, you should not buy Black Friday 2020 under any circumstance, holiday decorations. Specifically Christmas trees, decor items, these are not a good grab. The best Christmas decorations always drop after Cyber Monday. Usually the three days that follow Cyber Monday are a gold mine for Christmas decorations if you can hold off. My rule of thumb is that anytime you see a website simultaneously trying to pawn off clearance Halloween decorations and Christmas trees and Thanksgiving wreaths at the same time, it's not a very highly focused sale. With that being said, guys, I just also wanna remind you that I know the Dollar Tree's got great Christmas decorations, but there are also some incentives that you can take Take advantage of on their website. A lot of us don't equate the Dollar Tree with online shopping and I've done videos on how you can score great deals online but uh, the Dollar Tree will have that covered. The second thing you should not buy Black Friday 2020 comes with a bit of an asterisk and probably a lot of hate in the comment section. And by the way, if you have a comment that you want to share, I do reread them and I do sometimes get sad, but you guys are, are, are truly amazing. If you like this content, by the way, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and I'll be your hookup Black Friday and Cyber Monday and beyond. You guys see this TV deal on your screen right now? It is one of the best 70 inch TV deals I've seen in a long time. It's actually the lowest price on this specific model in 26 days. And as you can tell from the time I'm recording this video, it'll be in stock on November 12th. It's a 70 inch, 4K LG TV for $646 down from $875, $229 off. Buy it now. And by the way, I'll put that link into the video description box. I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use one of my links. TVs are a bad deal on Black Friday because the best deals drop in the week that precedes Black Friday. What we generally see on Black Friday are the lower end brands like Insignia, which is still a decent brand made by Best Buy and offerings from On, O-N-N, which is Walmart's brand and other TV deals like TCL and a, a 1080p not 4K TV for I think the Black Friday price on this will be 169. That's all fine and dandy, but the TVs that we see on Black Friday are manufactured sometimes specifically for the occasion with fewer HDMI ports, lower grade refresh rates and processors. The best deals always in the weeks that lead up to Black Friday, which is right now. The third category of products that you should not buy on Black Friday, fitness equipment. And I know you guys are looking at me and you can tell I must be weak not just emotionally, but physically, I must have never seen a gym. That is true. But as a consumer analyst now of almost two decades, I will tell you the best gym and workout related equipment deals always occur in January when those New Year's resolutions are in full swing. And to make matters even more complicated this year with the state of the world and how many local gyms have been closed down and people are just trying to work out at home, they're purchasing fitness equipment out of necessity. So you'll actually be paying a higher price on Black Friday for fitness related deals. I wish this was not on the list, but do not lock in any so-called too good or too good to be true travel deal because chances are the companies behind the deals will be bankrupt. There'll be some type of fine print if there's a cancellation on it. And unless you are traveling immediately after you purchase with a major company like Expedia or Cheap Caribbean or many of those other websites, the fine print will come back to haunt you. There's virtually nothing to protect you other than you guys contesting the charge with your credit card company and hoping for the best. Do not buy any travel deal on Black Friday. The fifth category that you should not shop from on Black Friday, and I can definitely vouch for this as a parent and a, a two-year-old that really wants some new toys, despite the toy book and all of those advertisements that you guys remember when Kmart was around and they would offer their huge toy book for the holidays and everyone get excited. If you actually looked at those deals, they were the best in the two weeks that preceded Christmas, not now. So while there are some creative toy deals that we'll see from brands like Crayola and some figurine deals from Marvel, they're hit and miss. Target does have some great toy deals. You'll still find that they're much better if you wait in the two weeks that precede Christmas, not Black Friday. 
The sixth category of products that you should not be buying for Black Friday, and I'm pretty sure that my bonus 11 is gonna astound some of you and make you angry, so I'm excited about that. But angry so we're on the same side, not so you're angry at me. Clothing deals. I really hope my wife is watching this video in the sixth spot of what not to buy. Do not buy clothing Black Friday, and for my wife, you look great in everything. Just don't buy it this season. We need to save money. There's a clothing deal every day from your favorite retailers if you're shopping for your kids, Old Navy, Gap, Banana Republic, Abercrombie. They can't do enough to get you to shop and buy three, get three free. I don't even understand half of the deals right now. They are so aggressive. You will find that despite what stores do as their Black Friday incentives, they have better store-wide sales always on Cyber Monday, at least 10% better. And if you are buying winter items, you will find the closer you get to Christmas and the end of the year, the better those deals are. So wait the longer you can. If you can shop December 31st, January 1st, you're going to get a much better deal. I'm doing a lot of weird hand motions. Let's move on to the next item. The seventh category of products you should not buy on Black Friday gaming consoles, although this does come with a bit of an asterisk, with the release of the Xbox, the new one on November 10th, and PS5 on November 12th, any store offering you a major discount on a, either of these gaming consoles is likely trying to fraud you. This is price controlled. If you can even find it in stock, no one is going to reduce the console on either of these respective lines. There'll be some bundles that'll be on older lines like the PS4, Xbox One X, Nintendo Switch will have some good offerings, but for new console deals, do not buy those purchases on Black Friday. More importantly, don't put them on your list as something you expect to save money on. It'll be nearly impossible to even find it in stock. And if you do want to learn how to find those items in stock, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn new notifications on. I have a whole video dedicated to that. What else should you not buy Black Friday 2020? Well, in the number eight spot, we find jewelry. Jewelry typically from major reputable brands like Blue Nile, and I'm not talking about mall jewelry. I'm talking about very high-end, good jewelry. There's typically a better incentive on Cyber Monday, and if you look at many of the Black Friday or early Black Friday sales tied to jewelry, you're, you're looking at around 30% off of the holiday code. They will become even more aggressive in terms of reductions leading up to Christmas with things like quick last minute free overnight shipping and free same day offerings. So uh, keep in mind that jewelry is a better purchase closer to Christmas and at least better on Cyber Monday than Black Friday 2020. In the number nine spot of what you should not buy Black Friday, gift cards. For whatever reason, people have in their head that gift cards are a good purchase on Black Friday. Every Black Friday, people make millions of dollars in purchases on gift cards as a collective industry that is far better of a buy on Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday, you'll see some gift card incentives that never appear on Black Friday. And if you guys are looking for regular discounts, the closer you get to Christmas, again, the, the better. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but the longer you wait, the more desperate retailers become and the deeper those discounts go. In the number 10 spot, before I get to the bonus of what not to buy on Black Friday, high powered laptops are never a good buy on black friday yeah we'll see some chromebook deals here and there but things like 50 dollars off on a new acer nitro gaming laptop will actually drop to around 100 or 130 dollars off on cyber monday cyber monday brings much better computer discounts as a whole on the higher end models computer parts desktops keep an eye on new eggs so many retailers that will perform high powered pricing acrobatics as they try and get your attention now, in terms of getting your attention, one bonus line of products that always sees a better deal on Cyber Monday, sound bars. But I wanna show you a trick that some retailers do, and I don't mean to pick on Bose, but Bose has this huge sale going on for Black Friday and right now, where their speakers and their headphones are all reduced and they advertise on websites like Amazon to try and get your attention. See, these are 159 down from 229. But in their sale, they'll also include huge deals of the day that you can click on, where it's up to 39% off on soundbars. This soundbar has comfortably been reduced by 1%. That's a dollar. That's not even a dollar. That's 99 cents. Why would I round up to make them look better? And what we're going to see on Black Friday are these huge, legit sales that look like this, but people get so caught up in the momentum of Black Friday, they just start clicking and buying and adding to their cart, and there will be items that aren't even reduced at all. And just because you don't see a list price and a before price doesn't mean the item isn't a great deal. It could be, but sometimes if you really look at the fine print, you're not scoring anything. Just another merchant that wants you to spend. 
and I want you to save. So if you like what you saw today and you want to know the real deals at all of the major players this Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and beyond, please subscribe, turn your notifications on, and as I said before, I feel like one of those 1-900 numbers that I used to watch when I was a teenager. My parents wouldn't let me go near the TV, and it's like, call 440-298-2181, but I will legitimately help you. I'd love to hear from you, and uh, it's a toll-free call. It's just me. It's just a... Anyhow, thanks for watching. Happy almost Black Friday. Bye-bye.